After you set up your campaign, the first thing that you're going to want to do is set up your POP3 and your SMTP accounts. POP3 is for extracting emails. So let's say you have an email account with a few thousand inbox leads. You can stick it in here and Tier will extract those leads and then you can use your SMTP to mail more to those leads. Setting up your POP3 is pretty simple. Most of you guys are probably familiar with the cPanel. Um, this is just one of my websites. To create an email that you want to send and receive from, just simply click on email accounts under mail. And then for this example, I'm just going to use test at my domain.com. Set a password and click on create account. Then you want to copy this email address and use it as your username and then also use the password that you just set. So in this case, it would be tier 404 is the password I use. Now for the host, you can either talk to your hosting provider and they'll give you the host name. Normally what I found works is if you go to your cPanel and on the side when you scroll down and you find your dedicated IP address, just use that and it'll work just fine as your host. Then click on test account to make sure it works. We can see that there's an error um, in correct account host settings. And if you notice, the SSL is not checked and my hosting does require this to be checked. So we'll go ahead, check that and test again. Boom, it's working, perfect. Just um, click on add account and it'll add it. And there's also this drip feed account feature. If this is selected, uh, let's say you extract 5,000 leads out of this email account. You don't want all those emails to go directly into pending and to be sent out. You want them to be drip feeded um, out. So the settings up here is where you can set that under SMTP you'll see your drip feed settings. So it's going to send those emails out um, at however fast you want them per hour. You can set that in here and just close it and it'll automatically save those settings. So we'll go ahead and add this account. Setting up your SMTP is basically the same exact thing. Um, we're going to use the same host and we can test this and we see that's working and you can add it. So now you're, this is the SMTP of your server, of your website. So you're going to be emailing from your website if you have it set up like this. But a lot of people like to use third party SMTP services because um, you might be getting better inbox rates or maybe you don't want to email from your domain directly. So you can use third party SMTPs. One that I highly recommend is Amazon, which looks something like this. If we go add the SMTP, the host, then you get um, a very random looking username as your username and your password is also a very long key that they generate. So we can go ahead and I think they use SSL with port 65. Let's test that. Account is working, you can add that. So now you can also be emailing from the Amazon SMTP account, or you can be using any account like smtp.com, SendGrid, or there's a whole bunch of other providers. Some people also like to use Gmails or Yahoo's to email from. If you go to our tutorials page on totalemailautoresponder.com, you can also find a tutorial video that shows you how to set up thir free third-party SMTP accounts like Gmail or Hotmail or Yahoo, which is something some people have a lot of success with too when using Tier.